I love food. And anybody in here will say they love food. F you. You don't know it. I wrestled for 18 out of 23 years of my life. By the time I was 16, I'd weigh about 195 when I'm playing football. And I would cut to 171. Uh, my walk around weight was in a semi dehydrated state at about 178. And I would put on all these sweats and I'd lose the last seven the night before. So my natural weight in football was 188, 195 ish, and I'd be 171, and I would look like a zombie out of a movie. And, you know, I'm very dehydrated, and I haven't eaten in a couple of days. In college, my record was about three and a half days straight. It sucked. But my junior year of high school, my buddies and I, there was my friend Matt, my friend Brent, Mark, and Case. Four out of five of us were wrestlers. Case weighed about 420 pounds, and he's a chef now. And that's what I want my chefs to look like. <laughs> so it's October. We're about to go into another wrestling season. My buddy Matt weighs, I don't know, 130-ish pounds. Lean as can be, can see every ab on him. He's going to cut down to 125. I'm going to come down from my 195 to 171 again. Uh, my buddy Mark was going to wrestle me off at 171, ended up wrestling 189 that year, and Brent wrestled 160. And Case did Case things. So in October, we're Delaware boys, mind you, so I've never been to Lancaster for anything but the railroads as a five-year-old. My buddy Case tells us about this magical place. He says its name is Shady Maple Smorgasbord. It's got the biggest spread of food in the world, and that's not an exaggeration. And it's got a ton of stalls in the men's room. By the end of October, we had an entire itinerary written out for the weekend after the state tournament. <laughs> and so we all go. I wrestle 171 at states. Matt wins the tournament at 125. Mark and Brent lost their wrestle-offs, so they were already done cutting weight, and case was case. And the week's coming up. We have this whole thing laid out. We all go to our parents, explain what we're going to do on the Friday. They all write us doctor's notes. Mine said, I'm going to the proctologist. <laughs> For those of you who, who did not major in biology, uh, a proctologist is a butt doctor. <laughs> I told my physics teacher this, because he was also a wrestler back in his day, and he laughed and he said, well, you technically are treating your colon. <laughs> so we all get out of school early, load into Case's grandfather's minivan, and we embark on our voyage. We get there, I believe we all down seven plates of food. We then proceed to drive back to Mart's house in New Jersey. And Mark has a scale. He actually has two, because Case took two. But uh, I wrestled 171 the week before. I was 192. <laughs> Matt wrestled 125, this lean little guy. He weighed a buck 40. Mark and Brent each put on 10 pounds because we spent the whole week prepping by eating garbage the entire week. But that's not it. We have an entire Saturday itinerary. Mark lives in Jersey, so we were going to get in New York. My mother made it very clear, you can't get in New York. What does a 17-year-old do? I went to New York. <laughs> so we drive up to Jersey City. We park on a parking garage take a photo shoot on the roof of it. To this day, don't know why, very memorable. And we take the subway across the river, and we go to Cat's Deli, very famous for the pastrami, and now in Practical Jokers does some of their skits there. We all get the sandwiches there. We're going to go to Lombardi's for pizza. 40-minute wait. We're like, all right, screw it. So, you know, you would think, all right, you know, these kids have eaten pretty good. Get back across the river, hop back in the car, go to Rutgers campus, 
and they had what's called Are You Hungry, which are the grease trucks, and they make what's called a fat sandwich, which is about this big, and the minimum requirements are french fries and meat on it. I ordered two. One had mozzarella sticks. Uh, at that point, we called it an eating weekend. We drove back to Jersey, we all went our separate ways, took one more goofy photo outside the van, and called it a weekend. And the funny thing is, I go home with this little glass paperweight from my mother with the Twin Towers on it. <laughs> and she tells me, I thought I told you not to get in New York. Well, I'm back now. <laughs>